We got the taste! Oh, that's hot! Come on! No, we got the taste. Guys, today I'm gonna to be doing something quite simple, quite easy, especially for you people who don't eat Indian food. I love Indian food so much. I just find the spices beautiful. I just find that Indian food tastes the best. Usually in the Indian cuisine, you have a chickpea curry, but uh, I'm gonna be incorporating mixed beans in there as well because mixed beans are just super healthy. I like to think that my curries are quite healthy as well. I think the only unhealthy thing is the oil. Everything else is like super raw, super healthy, and nutritious as well. So we're gonna be mixing mixed beans with chickpeas. So guys, let's get started. What you're gonna need first of all is onions. You're gonna need tomatoes. You're gonna need a lemon. You're gonna need ginger. You're gonna need garlic. You're gonna need red chili powder, turmeric, mustard seeds. This bad boy, this is Patak's Madras uh, spice paste and salt. I've actually already pre-chopped this because I take a really long time to chop onions. I'm not the best and my knife is pretty crap as well. So obviously, very, very finely. Slice up there, slice in the middle. So I've actually used four small red onions. I love using red onions because they're just a lot more sweeter. And you can use them for many things, not just for curries. You can use them for salads as well, so they're quite versatile. Four cloves of garlic, just because I absolutely love garlic. And we're just gonna chop, ah! If I was just doing chickpeas or if I was just doing mixed beans, I would use uh, two cloves of garlic, but because this is double, we're doubling up. Two whole tomatoes, boom. Ginger, so you're just gonna do that until you get like a nice paste. And I mean, with this, it just depends on how much ginger you like in your food. I like quite a lot of ginger, man. Yeah, that's enough. Lemon zest. This is something that I just started doing quite recently. You know, I used it on one dish and I noticed a huge, huge difference. The next step is to add some oil. This is probably the most unhealthiest part of my, of, of this dish is the oil. Now what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna wait for that to heat up. I've got an electrical cooker thing, so it's on like a seven at the moment. I'm actually gonna put it to a nine just to let the oil heat up a lot faster. Uh, and then once the oil is heated up and I put everything in there, I'm gonna bring it down to a seven so that it roasts quite nicely, not too hot. So, cause I don't want it to burn. I just want it to like, oh, there we go. Oh no, I thought I was recording. I've put everything in here already. So it's all roasting nicely. So what I've added was a tablespoon of turmeric, uh, a tablespoon of chili powder, and a tablespoon of the Madras spice paste. Also, mustard seeds. So I kind of put these in there. I don't have like a specific measurement for this. So the best way to know how, when to stop roasting this is when the tomatoes are quite easy to just like squish. So I'm just gonna check now and see how soft these tomatoes are. Oh yeah, perfect, cool. So that's been about like, I would say a good 10 minutes roasting. All the juices from the tomato and the onions are just kind of like melting away really, really nicely. So I kind of like to just do that, crush the tomatoes a little bit more. One thing I hate is the tomato skin. Uh, I tend to peel that off, but I didn't do that today. I just I guess I couldn't be bothered. So I finished roasting that for now. Uh, so what I've got going on here is I have taken the chickpeas and the mixed beans. I've removed all the, 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 the canned water uh, and I've put some normal water in there just to soak it. So I've got this crusher. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm pretty sure there's like a technical term for it, but this, I'm gonna crush it and make it into like a paste as much as possible, as pasty as possible, because uh, as much as I like garlic, I don't like to, you know, bite on like a chunk of garlic. So I'm gonna try and basically just, until my arm gets hard, I'm just gonna mash it and mash it and mash it until it becomes like a masala, I guess. So I've been doing this for like the past, I would say maybe two minutes. So I'm gonna keep doing it for like another, maybe three minutes, as, as soft and pasty as possible. That's what we want. I have um, mashed this up as much as possible and it's actually looking exactly how I wanted to. Look at that. This is the bit now where we put the mixed beans and the chickpeas. This is my favorite part because it all comes together. Hear that guys? And girls. <laughs> no exclusion, no exclusion. Yes my friends, the chickpeas and the mixed beans. So I've got water in here and I'm actually going to um, keep the water in there for one of them, probably the mixed beans because we do want a bit of water. We don't want it to be too dry. All right, in you go. Bam, just like that. So guys, the secret my mom taught me is if it's too watery, all you need to do is just keep roasting it and the wateriness will disappear. So right now this is actually super, super liquidy. So guys, this dish, although suitable for vegetarians, I'm pretty sure it's also suitable for vegans too because, um, well, there's no meat and I haven't used eggs, I haven't used bread, I haven't used 
anything that is not suitable for vegans. So if you're a vegan out there and you're sick and tired, I'm, I'm pretty sure now you can get like good tasting vegan food, but you know, if you're into your beans, if you're into your Indian curries, and if you're into your spices, this is, this is absolutely perfect. I mean, if I could have this every day, I'd probably be a vegan as well, but yeah, I won't. <laughs> I like meat too much. I like to freeze these so that they just don't go off. So I've got coriander here. I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna chop and chop. And this will like melt very nicely when you're when, when we put it in and it just roasts. So this is going pretty much to plan actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the coriander that I chopped up and I'm just gonna whoop, oh, whoop, put that in there, nice. Oh, that smells so good. I've roasted this for about a good 20 to 25 minutes now. And you can you can actually feel that the beans have gotten a lot more softer. It's thickened up a lot. Like, look at that. That's thickened up majorly now. That looks good. So we're going to add. Now we're going to add some salt. I, I'm, I'm actually very, very bad for um, salt measurements. I don't like too much salt in my food, but a lot of people do. So I'm actually just going to salt it enough to, um, I guess, just for, for taste. And then if... Someone wants salt afterwards, they can just add it. Obligatory taste test, tortilla. Mmm. <laughs> that is amazing. Where is it? I'm gonna add a bit more of this. Put that face. Not much, put that in there. And you're just gonna now mix it. That is perfect, that's actually, all the spices are perfect, it just needs a bit more of that. All right, people, obligatory taste test part two. I've blown this quite up. Oh, it's hot. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Ah. Ah. We got a thing. We got a thing. We got the thing. Ah. Oh, nice hot. Come on. Ah. We got the taste. Got some white rice in here in a cup. Upside down like so. And you're going to go bosh. Flip that round. You have to go 11 taps. Not 10, not 12, 11. Otherwise, you mess it up. Oh, put that on the side. I always put it at the top and I mess it up. Never at the top, always on the side. Right, Greek yogurt goes there. I like a lot of Greek yogurt in my food. We have the chickpeas there. We have the yogurt and then we have that beautiful white rice. Guys, that is absolutely amazing. Oh, it smells really good. It, it smells fantastic. Look at that. Oh, it's all falling, I just realized. All right guys. First of all, let's try just the chickpeas on their own. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> that is fantastic. Yogurt by itself. Beautiful. Rice. Mmm, nice fluffy rice. Perfectly salted. Rice is super easy to make. I'll probably do that some other time. Right, I'm gonna try this just together. Just the rice and the yogurt. Uh, the, ah! I do this to me, son, come on. Uh, just the rice and the chickpeas. Mmm. <laughs> that is actually phenomenal. That's the best I've ever made it. So I'm going to try the yogurt with the rice this time. Um, it's, the yogurt just adds like a nice coolness to it, you know? So, there we go. Got that. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. The yogurt really actually enhances the flavor. It enhances it so well. Add some more yogurt, some more rice. Like so. I'm actually super proud of myself. I've cooked this a million times, but every time it just is awesome. I just get super happy. Mmm. That is great. That is actually great. More, 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 more. Mmm. That yogurt really helps a lot. Guys, that was so quick to make. Super healthy as well, like I said. I think the only unhealthy thing in that chickpea dish is the oil. So if you have like another alternate al alternative for, for vegetable oil, use it. I actually prefer, I, I don't mind using this. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it for me. That is what I call my chickpea and mixed bean curry. I'm gonna put the, the the ingredients and everything below as well, like the instructions and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you watch. I hope you enjoy this. I'm gonna make some more. 
I'm gonna do a lot of cooking uh, episodes because I just enjoy doing them. They're a lot of fun because I cook a lot, so it keeps me busy while I'm cooking as well. You know. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.